And today we're rocking like it's nobody business. On our way up to number 250, we're hitting 249. We're hitting our stride here. Getting into the Louis Jadot, the 2006 Chardonnay. Chardonnay, you say, from Louis Jadot. Hmm, we'll get into that. From the Bourgogne in France, Burgundy. As other people know it here in this country, it's known as Burgundy Bourgogne. And this one, very interesting. Louis Jadot, they're really moving forward in their marketing ideas. And that is generally you used to see Burgundies, as it says right here on the label, Bourgogne. It would really say just the region and not the grape varietal. Here, they're really, really trying to make this easy for the consumer. All Chardonnays, all white Burgundies are 100% Chardonnay. Chardonnay is the grape, Burgundy is the place. But in order for it to be a white Burgundy, it must be 100% Chardonnay. As red Burgundies are 100% Pinot Noir. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. And as you see the shape of the bottle, and you see Chardonnays here in this country, you notice that same shape bottle. We're following tradition here, people. That's how we do it. That is how we do it here in California. This stuff, really, really fun, um, nice and playful. And today, getting into the 06 vintage, it was sort of a tough vintage for them over there. It was uh, not too hot, not too cold, but, uh, you know, just sort of an even, even Stephen growing season. I love the 07s that came out. The 08 super bright. And this 06 has had just a little bit of time to come together in the bottle. It, uh, on its color here, is wonderfully rich. This stuff definitely sees some oak. And I'm giving this one sort of yellow, leading with just a hint of, like, amber, and just a touch of green as well. It's a beautiful wine. The light's dancing, dancing, dancing off the top. I think it's moonwalking on the top of this stuff. And the nose, honeyed, as you would expect. Beautiful, rich honeyed notes. Touches of vanilla. Hints of baked apple, baking spice, just gorgeous. You know, we've looked at this wine, we've smelled this wine, we've talked about where this wine has come from, and now salute to you, baby. It's time to get into it. Monkey time, let's do it, peeps. notes coming around, a little bit of this dry straw, dry hay kind of thing happening. Those herbaceous notes really, really are coming through as you exhale. You kind of get back up behind your nose there. Absolutely a beautiful wine. Very well put together. The fruit is in check with sort of those earthy, herbaceous notes, really creating a wonderful balance. This and anything grilled, uh, uh, seafood-wise, would be delicious. Some shellfish, I think, would be really nice. Um, with just a little bit of that smokiness from the grills and smoked and grilled oysters would be awesome. You know what? I'm going to stick with that one on this. That's where we're sticking today. We made it all the way up to number 249. Stick tight. Stay tuned for number 250. Today, all the way up to Louis Jadot, the 2006, the Chardonnay, right out of Burgundy in France. And every single day, when you're looking for a fun webisode taste along, you know where to find them. That's right. Check out AdamTheWineGuy.com.